Hello beautiful strangers and welcome to Cat React. I'm Cat and I react to mostly 80s and 90s films. If that is something that interests you then why don't you subscribe? Today I will be reacting to a film called Sandlot. This was requested and I have no idea what this film is about. I didn't research it. Uh, the name doesn't tell me anything. So I'm excited to check it out. If you want to join me on the journey of discovering what this film is all about then great hop on and let's go. I moved to the neighborhood about two weeks before school let out. I was from another state and I didn't have a single friend in a thousand miles. My mom had married Bill about a year before we moved to the valley. That's an awfully large hat. That thing could kill someone. Whoa. My life is over. Well, yes, but it's not because you suck at throwing. It's because of that hat. I hate that hat. If it wasn't for Benny, I never would have made a single friend that summer. Uh, here. Yeah, I think you need to start with more basic techniques, love. The kid can't even throw. How come an 11 year old doesn't know how to throw? I'm gonna go play some ball and we need an extra guy. You wanna go? I'm a great bambino! What? what? I'm the great bambino. Oh. Oh. Who's that? You never heard of the Sultan of Swat? The Titan of Terror. The Colossus of Clout? The Colossus of Clout. The King of Crash, man. The kid is a L7 weenie. Poor guy. He's a geek, man. You don't want to talk with those ears and glasses. I'm sorry, I usually don't make fun of children, but if they say stuff like this, I will. Smalls, you take left center, okay? Throw it second! Okay! <sighs> I told you, Benny, we told you. Here, sorry. You can't throw it, you know? I don't know how. Tuck it like you would throw a paper. When your arm gets here, just let go. How do I catch it? Just stand there and stick your glove out in the air. <laughs> Told you so, man. What is this Jurassic Park? Are they growing dinosaurs back there? If so, I'm turning this film off. I'll show you some more tomorrow, okay? Okay, did good. You see the difference between the two hats. The blue one is normal. The other one is trying to contact some randos home planet. You got a fireplace? Yeah, why? Throw that hat in there, man. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> Whoa! Woo. Can't go back there, Smalls. Then how do we get the ball back? We don't. So all the balls that you have thrown over there are now just sitting there, becoming a collection for some weirdo. Just get another ball tomorrow. Yeah. I'll never see it again. Yeah. Why not? The beast. What is that? A hybrid between King Kong and Godzilla, I assume. <laughs> oh! See, man, that's why you can't go over there. Nobody ever has. Nobody ever will. One kid did, but nobody ever seen him again. You guys are just making this up to scare me. You heard the growling and you saw the fence move. You, you've seen the evidence. Whatever goes over that fence stays there. Oh, no! What, the bullies? It's easy when you play with a bunch of rejects and a uh, fat kid, Rodriguez. You ain't good enough to lick the dirt off our cleats. You! Watch it, jerk! Shut up, idiot! If I had a kid and my kid would talk like that, I would smack a stamp on his ass and ship him to Siberia. Jesus! Tomorrow, noon, at our field. Get the buffalo butt breath. Count on it, pee drinking crap face! <laughs> oh, 
feature. We were all walking on air that night. It had been a solid victory. In fact, we'd beat the crap out of those guys. So we all went to celebrate. Cha! I was saving it for a good time. What is it? Chewing tobacco? Tobacco, man. What do you do with it? Chew it, of course. Little man, you are 11 years old. Why are you eating chewing tobacco? Gives you tons of energy. Yeah. Let's no. dip. It gives you cancer. <laughs> While I'm gone, you're the man of the house. Understand? Where are you going? Chicago. In business for a week. Ooh. Come on, Benny man. Maybe two or three guys in history ever busted the guts out of a ball. You busted the ball? Must be an omen. Yeah, I think. This means that we can't play no more. Yeah, we can. What? You got 98 extra cents lying around at home, Smalls? No, but I got a ball. <gasps> no, Smalls. I got it, guys! <laughs> oh, you lost the ball forever. What are you gonna tell a bill? Oh, no. Oh, no. We gotta get that ball back. Oh, yeah, right. Good one, Smalls. That wasn't my ball! It was my stepdad's. I stole it from his trophy room. Where did your old man get that ball? I don't know. Some lady gave it to him. She even signed her name on it. Some lady named Ruth. Baby Ruth. Baby Ruth! Even I know who Babe Ruth is. You mean to tell me that you went home and swiped a ball that was signed by Babe Ruth, and you brought it out here and actually played with it? Yeah, but I was gonna bring it back. So you have no idea of the value of that ball then? Signed by Babe Ruth! Who is she? What? The Grey Bambino! Oh my god, you mean that's the same guy? Yes. yes! Babe Ruth is the greatest baseball player that ever lived. I mean, people say he was less than a god, but more than a man. You know, like Hercules or something. I don't feel so good. Uh oh, fair enough. Get him there, get him there. Get him there. You can always run away from home and never come back. We gotta buy us a ball. Uh, I, I don't know, Penny Man. Yeah, yeah, boy, that looks pretty crappy. Doesn't matter what it looks like, his mom's never gonna know the difference. What is this? Anybody got any bright ideas? Hell of a device. Huh. You got it. <laughs> Guys, the backs are clogged. I don't know about you, but I'm getting the heck out of here. Take me up. <sighs> and he will never be seen again. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Get me out of here. It's Cujo! He dropped the freaking ball. It's Cujo! My life was over. I had a dream that night about a giant baseball signed by Babe Ruth falling out of the sky and hammering me into the ground like a railroad spike. Benny had a dream that night too, and his was a lot more helpful. Who's there? You're... Dead? Legends never die, Keith. You're the babe. I'm here because you're in some kind of a pickle, right? Yeah. A baseball with my John Hancock on it went over a fence and you can't get it back, right? Yeah. Then just hop over there and get it. Yeah. I can't go into that backyard. Why not? There's a beast back there. A giant gorilla dog thing that ate one kid already. Everybody gets one chance to do something great. Most people never take the chance, either because they're too scared, or they don't recognize it when it spits on their shoes. This is your big chance. You remember when you busted the guts out of the ball the other day? Someone's telling you something, kid. And if I was you, I'd listen. You're saying I should hop over that fence and pickle the beast? Think about that, kid. I'll see you later. Remember, kid, legends never die. I had a dream. Get dressed, we're going to the sandlot, come on. 
Only one kid in history had ever attempted what Benny was about to, and he got eaten. How much do you guys want to bet that he's gonna be eaten? He's gonna be mule to death. It's cool, Joe. Legends never die. Follow your heart, kid. I mean, sure, he's gonna be a legend if he survives this. Okay, now you're on enemy grounds. Have you thought of an escape route? Wow. He's not so scary after all. He broke the... Okay, guys, maybe help your friend. Look out! Sandlot! 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 Let's go! Look out! Oh, doggy! scary oh my okay so it was a collection wow. now we can play forever hello this is bad we we brought your dog home hercules is that james earl jones is that mufasa we hit a baseball into your yard we tried to get it back so you're the ones that making all that racket why don't you just knock on the door i'd have gotten it for you <laughs> God, I love this man. Come on in. That was my stepdad's ball. I took it without asking. It was signed by Babe Ruth. George signed this? Here. I'll trade you. That's really nice of you, but that ball really is signed by Babe Ruth. So is this one with the rest of the 1927 Yankees. Wow. Are you sure you want to trade, sir? That's more, much more valuable. But why would you trade? Yeah, that why? That all chewed up. I got a lot of good stuff. Look at that stuff. Besides, you needed more than I do. You knew Babe Ruth? George? I sure did. And he knew me. Baseball was life. And I was good at it. I would want to sit down with James Earl Jones and just talk about life for a whole day. I bet he got some awesome stories to tell and some good advice. One day, a high fast one and pow, the lights went out. I don't think we could take this ball. I'll tell you what, you guys come by here once a week and talk baseball with me. We'll call it an even trade. You're getting the chance to talk baseball with James Old Jones? Take it! Deal! Even though Bill loved the murderer's row ball, he was still plenty mad about me having swiped his Babe Ruth autograph ball. Wow. Things worked out between me and him. And from then on, I didn't have any trouble just calling him dad all the time. He wasn't the total jackass I thought he was, okay. It was weird that Benny had said Babe Ruth was like the Hercules of baseball, and the beast's name ended up being Hercules. I kept in touch with those guys over the years. Yaya's parents shipped him off to military school. After the army, he became one of the pioneering developers of bungee jumping. Bertram got really into the 60s, and no one ever saw him again. Timmy and Tommy became an architect and a contractor. They became multi-millionaires when they invented mini-malls. Squints grew up and married Wendy Peppercorn. They have nine kids. Hamilton Porter became a professional wrestler, the great Hambino. De Nunes played triple-A ball, but he never got to the major. He owns his own business now, and he coaches a Little League team that his sons play on. Hercules lived to be 199 years old. Uh, what? In doggy years. After Benny pickled the beast, his reputation spread all over town. From then on, he was known as Benny the Jet Rodriguez. Now pitch running for the Los Angeles Dodgers, Benny the Jet Rodriguez. So he went on to play professional, okay. I thought you burned that hat. 
Okay, let's talk about it. All right, that was me watching The Sandlot. It was a good film, it was sweet. I, I, I have a soft spot for films like these, like the 90s films where the kids are just being kids. Because it reminds me of my own childhood. I'm a 90s kid in literal sense. I was two years old in the 1990, and then I was 12. I was just about to hit my teenage years in the year 2000. So my childhood was literally the 90s. And it's just films like these that bring up the nostalgic feeling of being a kid, playing outside, getting dirty, just, you know, imagination running wild. So yeah, I, I like this film. It was heartwarming, it's about friendship, nothing like your childhood friends. So I would give it 3 out of 5. I, I, I liked it. Yeah. It wasn't a masterpiece, but I could see myself watching it again just to have that feel-good, warm feeling. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll put out new videos 5 days a week. I'll see you in the next video.